guys, Sean Ray here for Generation Iron. I just got done watching the Ronnie Coleman, The King documentary slash movie uh, done by Generation Iron and the crew. What a great job. I've seen a lot of documentaries. I've done a lot of uh, video work and television work, and I've seen a lot of great athletes in my time, but in its totality, watching what eight-time Mr. Olympia Ronnie Coleman not only accomplished and being a part of it, being a witness on stage, um, but the challenges that he had to face, the obstacles that he had to overcome, uh, the current physical condition that he's in today, uh, you know, you can't help but go through a, mo a roller coaster of emotions watching Ronnie Coleman come from the back of the pack to become arguably the greatest bodybuilder of all time in an age where it was very competitive, where Guys like Flex Wheeler and Kevin Lavroni and Nasserell Sambadi and, and myself were all nipping at his heels to try to, to take that title away. Uh, Ronnie was a study of consistency and dedication. You're never gonna find a more humble person, a humble champion. He probably lost more shows than he won, but when he got used to winning, losing was never in his economy. It was never a part of his thought process. As an eight-time Mr. Olympia, losing the, his title to Jay Cutler, who ultimately went on to win four times. Ronnie was not only gracious in defeat, but it was something he wasn't gonna get comfortable um, acknowledging in terms of being a loser. Uh, his physical health may not be what it should be or, or what desirably we want it to be, but like Muhammad Ali, Ronnie Coleman is fighting every one of the physical challenges that he's got. He knew there was gonna be a price to be paid to be as great as he is. And again, Kevin Lavroni, Flex Wheeler, myself, we didn't wanna go into the deep water that you would have to go into that would create a physique that would even rival or challenge Ronnie Coleman. None of us could do it, mentally, physically, psychologically. And all the while, he has like five, six, seven, eight kids that rely and depend on him day in and day out. But Ronnie was not only a great athlete, you could clearly see the guy was well balanced, he was educated, hardworking from day one, an overachiever. And this movie, The King, if it does nothing else than move you off the couch to get in shape and take care of your physical well-being, it will inspire you to see that there's a lot of goodness in somebody that achieves greatness. Ronnie Coleman's a classic shining example of what goodness and graciousness and greatness are as it relates to bodybuilding, but more importantly, as it relates to a person. Ronnie Coleman, a very successful businessman with his Ronnie Coleman product line, traveling the globe in a wheelchair at times, an ambassador of health and fitness, which is what Joe Weider and Ben Weider created for all of us within the IFBB Pro League, Ronnie Coleman is a shining example of what you want to be when you grow up. So check it out. The King, Ronnie Coleman, on iTunes, right here at GenerationIron.com.